Okay. Hi, a very good morning to all of you. So today with us, we have Gudgun Dhawan, who has secured admission at ISI Delhi for this academic session. Hi, Gudgun, a very warm welcome to you. Hi, thank, thank you so much for this. Thank you, Gudgun. Thank you so much for taking out time. And we look forward to you sharing all the experience strategy for the current batch students. And of course, for all, this, all the aspirants who wish to take admission at ISIs or D schools or IITs for sure. Thank you, Gungun. Okay. Uh, Gungun, uh, let's begin with your background first in terms of bachelor's, which course, which college university, and how has it been like? Um, so uh, I just graduated from Miranda House, Delhi University, and uh, I graduated in economics. So I think it was an easy choice for me to uh, go for master's in economics. Easy, but not that easy, I would say. Like, uh, it definitely helped uh, because I... Uh, when I was uh, pursuing my graduation, I knew I'm interested in this. I knew I wanted to pursue it further. Uh, but uh, there were some con concepts that uh, were left unclear or like I was not pretty sure that I'd be able to do it. Like I was really scared of microeconomics during my graduation. And I remember myself crying about it in my second year. But um, uh, but uh, when I was preparing for my master's, uh, I overcame all of it and um, I think uh, at the end when I uh, when, when I was going for my ISI entrance I knew that microeconomics is my strongest uh, uh, subject. Great, great, great. So, so that, that speaks volume in terms of effort you have put in not only to, to learn and understand but to also overcome that fear that that you had in the initial years so so great great amazing okay uh so so uh Gungun, how was the uh course structure like we always emphasize on our course structure solely because in case you come from a non-eco background or the students like in your case you are from economics background that too from DU. So you are in a still better position right but let's compare someone coming from, let's say, any XYZ university where the course curriculum is not that strong or it's more theoretical. So they face a lot of issues. So what, how was your approach regarding the course structure that we designed right from basic to intermediate and then to the advanced level? Okay, so when I joined the advanced classes had already begun and I really wanted to uh, attend live classes. So I started with the advanced classes. Plus uh, I thought I knew like basic and intermediate uh, micro macro and all of that. So um, just a second. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I think I, I thought I knew all of that. But uh, so when Arzu ma'am takes advanced classes, she always tells us that she's going to start with this topic next day or next week. So we kind of know ki what's going to happen. So uh, whenever uh, we found out ki, like uh, the new topic is about to start and I knew in my, somewhere in my mind ki, uh, that topic I kind of left in my gradu graduation or... Well, some of the concepts were still unclear. So I kept going back to the intermediate concepts and basic concepts. And that's how like I did it. Because uh, even, for example, yesterday's session with the students, so she came up with a different variety of examples. And that what makes you remember at times a particular concepts when you are able to get an example right in front of you related to the current economic scenarios. So... Great, great. Okay. So, uh, Gungun, when when was it like, the reason I ask is this question because so that students have an idea ki when should they ideally start or when should they at least start aiming or targeting about their, their master's program. So, was it was it uh, during the fourth semester or, or the starting of the second year? Uh, when was it that you, you, you were determined enough ki okay, uh, I have my goal, which is master's in economics. And of course, in your case, ISI was the top institution. So when was it exactly? Uh, I, for me, I think I started one year back around the same time, uh, mid-June or I think end by the end of June I had started. So I think uh, per, like if you want to go for ISI, I think that would be the perfect time since you have uh, since you have time to go through all of the advanced lectures. But I think if you're aiming DSC, uh, you can wait for like two, three months more. That was solely because it's under CUET. That's why. Else, it was one of the toughest papers alone. So 
you had to give. So I must say, uh, we have had students from Miranda House almost every year. And they are the torch bearer for us at times, <laughs> shining every year, making it to some of the best institutions. So no doubt, I, I must say that there is something that spark uh, within the students at Miranda and of course the faculties at Miranda House, I must say that as well. Okay, so uh, Gunbun, uh, what, what is ahead of you post your master's? Anything in mind? Ki, because it's a pretty straightforward question for all my students. What exactly are you looking for? Is it like the corporate placements, the government sector, or what exactly? I think uh, right now I'm looking for corporate placements and um, I really wanted to go into data and everything. Um, but I think I can, I, I'm, I'm also thinking about further studies. So like, I'm not really sure about that. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. At least uh, because I, I want all of you to at least complete your master's. Once the education part is done, then you are free to decide uh, what path you wish to take. Okay. So now Gunman, coming to the strategy part overall. Okay. Because that is very important uh, in the sense that some of the students feel that I can leave this part. This is not required. Or why should I practice the full mocks? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. As long as you're determinate enough. But what is your strategy overall throughout the session? Uh, so, uh, as I said, I started with advanced lectures. Uh, I think my strategy was uh, to cover all the advanced lectures, do the daily assignments. Th those are really helpful, like really, really helpful. And uh, I also focus that uh, uh, if a daily assignment is posted today, I'll do it today and then I'll move on to the next lecture so that I don't miss any of that. And that was really helpful for me. Um, I one thing that I would suggest uh, everyone that is preparing for masters uh, would be ki please uh, solve as many questions as you can, uh, solve as many practice papers, mock papers, uh, past year papers, do not leave anything. And yeah, that, that's it. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, of course, a beach mix stays at the when students are overwhelmed. In our case, they get more. But he didn't say that he was less. He said, sir, how much is it so much? How do I practice? How do I manage between my college time and, and the preparation? So, so how did you manage? Because now you know what? Now the session has started. Okay? So all of them are in a safe comfort zone. Okay? Uh, I know some of the students are taking it very serious from day one. That should be the approach. But the moment you will have your semester exam, especially in the window of December, January, there in the tough competition starts because your semester exam is you have to prepare for masters and eight mahine baad you have jam and gate as well. So how did you manage that window wherein you were supposed to prepare for your semester exams as well? At the same time, back of the mind, ye rahe gai ki my interest is about to come. I can't leave it for the entire day. So what was that window for you like? Uh, so for me, when I started preparing for masters, I kind of put my uh, semester, uh, like semester uh, exams and everything on hold. And uh, I don't know if it was the right choice or the wrong one. But uh, so when the semester exams finally came, I pushed my masters of, like a uh, piche, thoda piche, because I couldn't like I couldn't do all of that at the same time. So uh, that was the approach for me. Like uh, two three months, I only gave to my masters, and uh, when uh, the semester exams came, I couldn't concentrate on my masters. The only thing that I could do during my exam was uh, every night I used to sit and just keep going back to the notes that I've made, and it was like I just I I would just skim through the notes, and yeah, th that really helped. Right, right, right. Great, great. Because uh, when I ask you guys this question, na, not only, of course, they will feel more confident, but all of you have a different strategy. Okay? Some are like uh, you, you, uh, you kept more focused towards the semester exams because that is, again, also very important. And let's say other students at least gave one hour or two hours on a daily basis. So what I want with this question and your answer is, that students should feel ki aisa koi hard and fast rule nahi hai, ki that you need to follow. All of you are good in your own zone aspect and you need to just follow that. Great. Okay. Uh, so more or less one last question because you mentioned about the notes. Okay. And, and I aggressively highlight and push for this when student comes to me in particular. Ki you need to have your shorthand notes. Right. At the end stage, you can't just 
open up again and again it's just sheer waste of time and effort of yours only theek hai jo aap apni preparation mein laga sakte ho so how did you do it like did you have separate register for different subjects and how, what how did you do the notes for a part uh so i had separate uh, i definitely had separate registers for all these subjects i also had like a full fledged notes uh, which i made during the live classes and everything and then i had the short version of my notes which basically had formulas and the basic basic concepts that i really needed to solve the uh, questions so uh, the, the full fledged notes uh, you you can't go through that like every day it's 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 not possible so uh, the, the short version of it you can keep going back to it and it really helps with the questions so uh, you have really summed it up uh, in a very precise and clear manner honestly speaking and this is something i wish each and every student not in the current session but in the coming sessions as well and in general as well all the students who are appearing will definitely take a note of it and will follow all the suggestions feedback strategies that you shared so once again goodwin thank you so much for your time and we wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors and like like with all our students in the past and every time we tell in case there is anything you require you, you know that we are just a call or a whatsapp away i tell whatsapp precisely because at times i might not be able to pick up the call then you know the call will come back but ha at least let me drop a message on whatsapp so once again thank you so much goodbye thank you so much for this i am really grateful to you and as per ma'am for uh, this entire thing because isi has always been my dream college and there were times i lost hope i i i couldn't believe in myself i thought ki after, even after my exam i was really sad because i thought i didn't do well I, after my interview I, i cried this is a message to all uh, all the students who are preparing for masters please believe in yourself please uh, keep working hard and uh, consistency is the key Absolutely. that's all so yeah exactly you need to have a very positive mindset consistency is no doubt from day one it, it it's, it's the key to success for sure theek hai so when, once again thank you so much kunwin for your time and wish you best of luck thank you thank you so much